are we doing? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today I have part two of my massive and epic Seattle Goodwill outlet, AKA the bins haul for you. This is my second box that I opened. I actually photographed everything this morning. So hopefully by the time I put this video out into the world, everything will be listed. So. <laughs> Hopefully. I apologize for my appearance. I took a shower last night and slept on some wet hair. <laughs> so it's a little, it's a little crazy. I didn't feel like styling it this morning because I've been quite busy doing other things. And I'm hoping my son naps. I just put him down. He's still laying down, but I don't know if he's gonna fall asleep or not. I had a question in my last video. Um, they were wondering how much it costs to ship everything here. And I will tell you, it cost me $148 to ship 140 pounds to myself from Washington. So total of everything that I spent, all of those expenses, I paid $533.92. And I did have a total of 199 items. <laughs> So almost 200 items, but I technically did have more than that because I did give some stuff away to my friends. So, but I'm reselling 199. I also have a few oopsies over here that I decided not to sell because they have holes. So I also did not take that into account when figuring out how much I paid per item. So I apologize, but I ended up paying my cost per item ended up being $2.68. Yes, let's start this massive haul, shall we? Or at least get it started and then I might have to stop it halfway through or, or something. Anyway, this first item is not like, ooh, so exciting, but uh, it is a new to me brand and it's very Y2K-ish to me. It's super dry and it's a size 10 or so the label and then it has a really cute little palm tree embroidered detail on the front. All right, my next item is a pair of PFG convertible pants. So you can unzip these and turn them into shorts if you want. These are a men's size large or 30. I think it's just large, but in 30 inch long or 30 long i don't know but yeah i'm hoping to get 20 dollars for these i don't know how much those go for i don't think i've ever sold pfg pants i've only sold the tops oh my son is not gonna go to sleep <laughs> all right i don't normally pick this brand up but hard to resist when it is new with tags and that's not even a tag <laughs> there we go lucky brand these are the 212 slim straight 34, 32, two-way stretch, black, straight pants, men's, of course. Also, apologize for the horrible lighting. I'm not a professional YouTuber. And I don't expect to be in the future, but I mainly record these videos just to keep track of when I sold items and what I picked up and stuff, so just a nice little reminder for myself if I forget, because I do. <laughs> and it's nice to reference these videos and figure out where things came from. Um, this I already showed you, didn't I? In my last haul. That's right, because I washed it and then I stuck it in this pile to, to list, so whoops. But this, I don't think you've seen this yet. This is just a purple square neckline crop top and the brand is American Eagle. This is a size small. I found two pairs of Aritzia Wilfred shorts. These are not silk. I thought these were silk. Um, and they have a nice little pocket here on the side. I found like this gray color and this like tan 
nudish color. And they're both a size small. I thought about lighting these together, but I think I'm just going to list them separately. A few bras, because I love selling my bras. This is a nice little lace bralette. This is Airy, which is sold at American Eagle. It's an extra large, gray, lacy, sexy bralette. Found some Hurley shorts. I know we're moving out of the season, but these are a solid seller for me. Whenever I find them, I always pick them up. They have nice little chunky pockets. I don't know what the style of these are called, but these were exclusively sold at Buckle and they are size 34 and they are kind of heavy. No, oh, he laid back down. Hopefully he knocks out. Okay, then I found this super soft Athleta extra small black long sleeve top. It's stretchy. It's like a nice little base layer if you are a runner, keep you warm when you're running out in the cold. And if my uh, heater kicks on, my heat thermostat, whatever, I apologize for the loud humming. I tried to move into the furthest room away from it just in case if it does turn on because it's been chilly here in Michigan. And yeah, we finally turned it, turned it on because it's been very, very cold in the morning. And I have two children. New tag, nice little flory. Flory, what is that? Floral dress. This is new tags. It's something navy, which is sold at Nordstrom. I have sold this brand before. Here's the face of the designer. Um, has a back zip, short sleeve, lightweight, nice little mini dress for spring or summer, which we are moving out of those seasons, but warm somewhere else besides the Midwest and my right. I found this really nice scotch and soda plaid blazer. Uh, this is a size medium. Here is the logo if you've never seen that before. This is a very nice piece. I think it's men's but I feel like it could also be worn unisex. But Nice solid piece here, perfect for fall. And he's throwing his stuff out of his crib. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think he's gonna nap. I'm gonna show a few more items and then probably go get them and hopefully he can play quietly in the background. Some Torrid shorts, these are a size 10 with some distressing and a lace and beaded apparently. I didn't know, not know it was beaded. Um, detail on the hems of the legs. I found another pair, but I ended up, I'm going to donate them because they did have a flaw that I tried to take care of and didn't work. So I don't wanna deal with them anymore. Here we have some Madewell jeans. These are size 29. They are the Cali Demi Boot, which is a pretty popular style. The only flaw is there is some light puckering here, which I noted. And these are like a nice little black gray wash. I found a lot of Torah jeans and I totally forgot that I found all these Torah jeans. So I think I might list these a little low just to get them moving because <sighs> There's so many. <laughs> um, here we have Torrid. These are the boyfriend. Size 22. Are these distressed? Yes. It's with some distressing bra hems. And I found some Free People jeans. This is an older label, but the style is so relevant and trendy that I had to pick them up and these feel like they have never been worn. They're in like really good condition. They have the nice little button fly. I like the little ribbed 
detailing um here this area <laughs> and then some nice thick little seam details there with nice flare raw hem black as well then i found some zella cropped or maybe full length no i think they're cropped leggings these are z by zella and they are size small i just really liked the neutral colors with the animal print just thought they were so nice and they were in very good condition and then i found nike dry fit and these are a 3x black leggings and they also have just on the back of the waistband they have a nice little ribbed texture as well all right this will be the last item i show you and then i have to go get my son um this is unfortunately flawed and i did not want to take the time to even try to get it out because this is white so I'm just going to sell it as is. It's Maeve from Anthropology. It's a nice, very beautiful boho um, poncho type thing. And it has some crochet detail, floral, beaded, all that fun stuff. But there is a stain. Sorry, the lighting sucks. There is a stain up there on the bottom and the front. So, And it's a size large. If I feel like it, maybe I'll try to get it out, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm going to sell it as is. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go get my son real quick. Okay, I'm back. Alright. And I found some 511 Tactical. These are a size 34. Black cargo pants. <laughs> Then I found more Torrid. These are the jeggings, size 22R, just a plain jean with no distressing. It's a solid pair. Oh no. Oh, I thought I noticed a hole. <laughs> I thought these were really fun. I don't normally pick this brand up, but they are Ellie Tahari. Look how cool these are. Nice skinny leg, or maybe straight, I don't know. Uh, floral overlay. Oh man, it's so, so cute. I think they're daisies. These are pretty small. They are size 2. And they have a nice little side zipper. And they are lined. So hopefully those do well because I think they're really cool. Another anthropology item. This is Sleeping on Snow. This is a wool blend. One. Kind of has like one. a pe peplum. Oh, uh, uh, why? Yes. Oops. Little peplum style, sleeping on snow. This did not have a size. Why? 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 This did not have a size, so I think this is a large though because I measured it. <laughs> Go get them. Oh. Yeah, go get your mouse trucks. Go. Did not have a size, but I measured it and it seems like it's a large, but um, I will check like their listings if I see any and kind of compare them. Carbon to cobalt. I have not had luck selling this brand, but I picked it up anyway. It's an extra large. Yes, Milo. Nice plaid, long sleeve button up. I'm so tired. <laughs> Man, kids wear you out. Oof. Especially when they don't nap. I'm just trying to get all of this done so I can bring this all downstairs and put it away because I'm sick of it being in my dining room. Okay, moving on. Made well. I think this might be a pajama top. I don't know for sure, but it is a size medium. It doesn't have like the tag on the inside. It's all cut out, but 
I have to look this style up to see exactly what it is. And then I found this really cute, adorable, whatever you want to say, um, Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. Nice green with yellow flowers. So cute. From what I understand is they don't actually make this clothing line anymore. So, oh, and the best part, it has pockets and it's a size large. Did I say that? I don't remember. I apologize. I, I apologize for my, my uh, mood. I'm just tired, exhausted. I keep getting headaches. <sighs> yeah. I picked this up because I liked the graphic. <laughs> it's nothing special, it's just like one of those t-shirts that you can get printed on or whatever. Size medium. Here we have a piranha blue t-shirt with the rolled sleeve. I think this might be linen, but the material tag is cut out. It is a size small and it's sustainable quality. I liked the blue. Telling you, I found a lot of prana this trip. Men's button up, and this is a size large. This has a flaw that I didn't notice until after I finished photographing it, so it's torrid. Here's the flaw, a little hole there. Can you see it? It's just a super stretchy knit top, size two. Then I found this Carhartt t-shirt. This is a loose fit, size large, and it has their logo on the chest pocket. Will not get a ton for that. This I picked up because I've never heard of this collab before. I've never heard of this person at all, so this is Roland. Moret, Moret for Banana Republic. This is size four. I think this is made for like a curvy girl. Short sleeve, V neck, little fitted navy blue dress that I wanted to try. All right, here comes some more Torah jeans. These are the jegging in the size 20R. These are distressed black wash. Another one, these are the ankle skinny in a size 22. These are raw hems. Oh, I think these ones, yes. These ones have a cute little lace detail on the bottom. I've never seen that before. It's really cute though. Found this REI, these REI pants. These are super loud. <laughs> Wide leg pull on pants, and they are a size small, I think. I think that's what it said. Oof. And then I found this Free People, or We the Free, like cropped military y looking with some beaded embellishments on the shoulders, as well as the cuffs. And this is a wool blend size small it's in really good condition i didn't notice any flaws when i was taking a pictures i found some classic dojo jeans these are seven for all mankind they are a size 28. good condition didn't notice any flaws I found some free people pants. I have sold these before, I think. I'm pretty sure I have. They are a linen blend with a draw, not drawstring, um, tie and the paper bag waist. I really like this color. It's a perfect fall color. So have you guys been watching any posh shows? 
I've been watching a couple. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Curious. They don't seem actually too bad. I'm very surprised at the um, how much things are selling for because I've I didn't watch very much whatnot things or whatnot shows, but I did notice on whatnot things sell for way cheaper than they do on the posh so shows. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Here we have another Prana item. This is a dress. I feel like I've sold this before. It's padded, um, size medium. I did actually buy from one show, which I've never purchased anything from Whatnot before. But yeah, I just bought a J. Crew sweater and it's new tanks, and I got it for I think $29 or something, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, Madewell, it's this cute little sweater cardigan. I like the speckled look to it. It's an extra small. This was actually one of the very first items that I found when we went to the bins the first time. I remember because it was literally like the first thing that I touched and I was like, oh my goodness, I love this location. <laughs> I want to come here all the time. So yeah. And then I found, well actually my friend found this, this is Vince, a nice little wool color black skirt. It's a size six, super soft, has pockets, little bubble skater, circle skirt. So yeah, I, I've actually kind of been enjoying the posh shows a little bit. They still feel MLM-y and I don't think I'll ever plan to do one just because I feel like I'm not entertaining enough. I don't even think I could talk that much. Little, I already have a hard time talking on these videos. So, but it does look pretty fun. I'm not opposed to giving it a try, but I don't know. We'll see what happens with where they, if they continue these or not. Here's Loft Plus size 18. Nice floral dress. I like the, I love florals. I think this is so pretty, so timeless. Short sleeve, this is unfortunately missing its belt, but I think it looks fine without a belt. There's pockets, so hopefully it'll still sell. I usually have luck selling plus size loft pieces, so I think it'll still sell. And then we have a good old free people. Look at this old tag. I've never seen this tag before. They have so many different tags. It's so crazy. It's a size 10, it's polyester in spandex blend. This is so soft and it's silky on the inside, that satin fabric. It's whew, very, very soft. I could not pass this up because we're coming into that season and it has snap button closure on the front. I can't snap it closed. Oh, <laughs> wrong side. Um, Nice little chunky, and it is a double button, like, um, is that what they call it? I don't remember, but it's super soft, neutral, perfect for fall and winter. Nice little cozy jacket. Um, horny toad. This actually reminds me of a story, uh, a breaking story. It's organic cotton, size medium. Any of you guys heard of the Try Guys before? Recently, someone from the Try Guys got caught doing some naughty things. I'm sure you, everyone, if you have heard of them, you have heard of this scandal. But I couldn't believe it. Like I'm still like trying to wrap my head around it. I don't watch them very much. I used to watch them a lot, but I just, they haven't really been that entertaining to me. And yeah, very surprised that this certain somebody cheated on his wifey. It's so sad. Here we have a Prana skirt. This is size small, yes. And it folds over. So one of those fold over sparkly um, 
pull on skirt. But yeah, I still, I still cannot wrap my head around that he cheated because you know, he's the family guy, the wife guy. So it's just so crazy. This is Nike Pro, size medium. This was probably a bad pickup because the logo is like cracked. <laughs> but I think I'll still sell it, sell it for cheap. Hopefully somebody will buy it. This is a first time find for me. I have never found the wedgie style before of Levi's. These are distressed and they are size 27. Really good condition and they have that button fly. Yeah, how many of you were shocked once you heard that? That, once that news broke. So sad, I feel so sad for his, his wife. Then I found Citizens of Humanity. I have not found this brand in a very long time. The Rocket Eye Rise Skinny, which is usually sells quicker for me, this style has some distressing. They are a smaller size, so these will probably sit for a little bit. They are size 25. Trying to figure out what other recent news items, recent news stories that I could remember to chat about. Um, here we have a Nike mock neck crop top. This is Nike Pro, I think, yes, Nike Pro. Extra large and it has like the little slits on the side. Then I found a Banana Republic Fitted Pima Polo, size large. These are a good seller for me. I like picking up men's Banana Republic items. And I found some really good condition J. Crew gingham plaid pants. They are size zero, but they are from 2020, it's spring. stain. Ugh. It is. I don't know. I can't tell. I think it's just my eyes. I don't think that's a stain. And this unfortunately has a flaw as well, which I didn't notice. It's Athleta. Super cute though. So I don't know, I might try it on. I already photographed it, so I probably will not keep it. I have a ton of sweaters. It's missing the front button to this button down here. So it doesn't snap closed. But other than that, it's in really good condition. It's a merino, extra fine merino wool blend. Just a nice little piece. Then I found this left of center anthropology piece. I believe this is anthro. I don't know if this specific piece was sold there or not, but nice little oversized piece. It's a size medium. Oh, you guys, I have not gone thrift shopping this whole entire month of September. I've been working on listing the stuff that I found in Gary my last time and I had a bunch of stuff from before I went to Seattle and then I had to list all my Seattle stuff. It's just been taking me all month. I work by myself so and I have two kids and a husband and a house to clean. <laughs> so it's been pretty pretty busy for me this month and I'm actually pretty surprised with the amount of stuff that I did get listed. I think I got over 250 items listed this month so it's been nice. And Poshmark has been great. I've been selling a lot more on Poshmark this month than eBay which I'm totally fine because I have been having so many issues with eBay. It's driving me nuts. Here's a poo cute little embroidered why is that on the front am i seeing stuff or is that really i don't know uh crew neck oh it's so cute 
The size has like rubbed off, so I don't know if this is like a vintage piece. I'm just gonna go ahead and say new. But I think this might be like a large or an extra large. That was just too cute to leave behind. It's so adorable. Here we have an REI tank top, pink, not pink, purple striped, and this is a size medium. Are you guys sick of seeing Prana yet? Because I have a lot of it. Here's Prana. Nice burnout tea. I've sold this plenty of times. And then I found this Ella Moss size small sweater. I liked the scalloped hems and the puff sleeve. Here we have Athleta size large, long sleeve ruched faux wrap workout top. All right. Sorry, I found more Prana. <laughs> so these next two items are going to be Prana. This one is an extra small. It's a wool blend cardigan, open front sweater. I like the um, design, long sleeve. And then I found a purple and gray one, but this one is a size small. Same sweater, same style and everything, just different size and different color. Then I found some really cool, it's just wild fable, but they are really trendy and they are a size extra small. Flare plaid pants. Yes, they are extra small. Just trying to make sure I remembered. Um, yeah, nice little pull on pant that I think will sell. Okay. Oh, I think somebody made these pants because I couldn't find a material tag, a brand tag. The only thing that I saw in here was this. So that's why I have a sneaking subspicion, suspicion that somebody made these. Look how cool these are. They are sheer. So you'd probably have to wear something underneath. Um, I just love the embroidered or the embellishments and they are super flare. So yeah, you can see how sheer they are. These would be really cool to wear to like a festival or a concert, but I just couldn't leave those behind and they run pretty big. So I think they're like a large, extra large maybe but I'll have measurements, of course. Then I found a We The Free, no, Intimately Free People um, crop top bra thing. Okay, I don't know if I showed you this in my last haul, but I'm gonna show it to you. And if you saw it again, I apologize. This is Wilfred from Aritzia. Nice little purple peplum tank. Size extra, extra small. So, okay, that is every, oh no, it is not everything because I have some stuff over here that I need to, and then I gotta show you the shoes. Okay, so these items I actually did not photograph because I have to stain treat them. I found this really cool vintage lamb's wool size small Liz Claiborne pull-on skirt. It's pleated. It has the gold buttons in the front. The flaw is on the back, on the bottom. So I gotta hand wash that out. Hopefully it'll come out because I think this is so cute. And then a couple items that my husband needs to try on. If he doesn't want them, then I'll sell them. But I found this Lululemon, size medium, gray top. This is super soft. And then I found him these Rick and Morty pajama bottoms. 
He loves this show. I don't really care for it. I kept finding a lot of Babaton as well. I mean, Aritzia. Here we have Babaton. And the flaw with this is I need to just depill it because there's quite a lot of pilling. But it's this beautiful open front, like caramel, camel, caramel camel color. And it has some pockets in the front as well. It's a size small. And it is a wool cashmere blend. So hopefully there's no holes, but their cardigans and jackets and pants sell pretty well for me. So I gotta look that specific style up so I don't know how much that will sell for. And then the Lauren, Ralph Lauren linen blue top. I have this in this pile because I need to go downstairs and steam it because it is very wrinkly. So, and I don't want to haul my steamer up here just to photograph a few items. And this, I don't know if this was a bad pickup or not. This is Ganesh Himal. It's a size large, but there is a stain on the front that I might try to get out, but I need to look this up, which I don't even remember putting this in my cart. And it has some cool buttons in the front, but um, I don't know what this is <laughs> and why I even picked it up. I don't know what it is, but it's like a very thick cotton. So I don't know. I might just end up donating this, but we'll see. All right, let's move on to the shoes. All right, I found these uber chunky pair of boots. What are these? I don't remember the brand. Is it soda? I think it's soda. Pretty sure it's soda. And they are a size eight, I think. But yeah, these type of shoes sell pretty well for me. Found a classic pair of Tiva shoes, sandals. This actually, my friend Cassie found. She's like, are these good? And I was like, yeah, I'll take them. <laughs> They're in really good condition too. And they are a size seven. I originally found these for myself, but I think I'm gonna sell them. They're Urban Outfitters plaid flat with a little bit of a heel. They are a size six. I just don't think they're my stuff. Then I found a North Face wedge boot, which I need to clean up, um, put some conditioner on it. They are waterproof and they are a size nine and a half. I found, which I might end up just donating. I don't even know why I bought these. Petula, Petula, Birkenstock shoe stuff is like coming apart, so. I don't know, I might just sell them really cheap or something. They are a 41, I think. Do that. And then I found some really cool orange patent leather Birkenstocks, and these are a 37. A little bit of wear. And then my favorite shoe to sell are Crocs. These are different Crocs, and I've, I've never seen these type before. I've never seen this type of Croc before. These are a very big size. They are size 12. Obviously, I think they're for a man. All right, I think that's it. Minus a few things here and there that I didn't show because either it's downstairs or it stains, needs to be stain treated or it's sold. So I'm gonna put everything back. So yeah, that is the end of my massive haul. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and my previous haul video. I had so much fun in Seattle and I definitely want to go back because I miss my girls. It's been, it gets pretty lonely sometimes when you don't have friends around. But yeah, I'm so happy I was able to go and thank you so much to my husband for letting me go. I miss going shopping. I can't believe I have not gone thrifting all this month, 
but it's also been one of my, like my best like selling months which is just so weird to me <laughs> how that works um so yeah hopefully by the time this video goes live i'll have everything listed if you're interested in anything feel free to send me an offer let me know if you're coming from youtube because i have no idea if you are <laughs> and i would love to give you a good deal just gotta let me know <laughs> and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video hopefully it's another bins haul because i miss going to the bins i miss i miss digging and yeah feel free to subscribe to my channel or like my video it really helps me out not that i'm really making any money off these videos something creative for me to do jump out of my comfort zone type thing um so yeah that's why i make these videos anyways i will see you on my next one bye i should show you my bad buys i'm going to all right, so the reason I didn't buy this was because there's some stain, pit stains here. It's just free people, so I'm just gonna donate it. And then you may have recognized this in my last video. It's a Columbia shirt. There are two, two holes here. So I don't wanna sell that. They look like, like cigarette burns. And then, I decided I'm not even going to waste my time trying to fix this when I probably will only get like $15 for these. They are really cool, but yeah, not worth my time. Oh yes, this Eileen Fisher top, after I washed it, I noticed there was a in the back so I'm not gonna sell that this was in my last video and then I'm not gonna sell this airy bathing suit it's missing a pad and it's just plain black so I decided not to to list that same with this top that I don't even remember grabbing to be honest with you this is alpha beta something but there are some pit stains I don't know if you'll see them, but... And then, I was really sad about this Babaton silk top. There are some pit stains on this as well. Oh. And there's that stain there, which I could probably sell as is, but you know, I really don't feel like it. <laughs> and then... This... J. Crew dress and some pit stuff, which yeah, a lot of pit stains, which I do not know how to get clean. So, well, yep, that's everything that I have to show you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe to my channel if you want, and I'll see you on my next one.